Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Harish Kumar. Next in the JavaScript array method series, we are going to take a look at array prototype filters. Array filter method was introduced in ECMAScript version 5 and it is supported in all modern browsers. What this array filter does, it creates a new array with elements that match the given condition from an existing array. It is commonly used to remove items from an array if given condition returns false C value. You can think of filter like a functional if statement. If array element meets condition, then include it, else remove it from the array. For example, in this array, you want to create a new array which has a numbers greater than 10 or maybe less than 10. You can achieve this goal using array filter method. Let's see its syntax. Its syntax is array dot filter and then it accepts a callback function and this callback function accepts value index and array and second argument of this filter is this arg which is optional and this filter also returns a new array if you have watched the previous videos of this javascript array method series then you may have noticed that its syntax is same as array map and for each methods like this map and for each this for each method does not return any value this for each method is used to access array element one by one and perform actions with them and we do not return any value from this callback function and it also doesn't return any new value. On the other hand, this array map method returns the new modified version of given array. This array filter also returns a new array, but it is used to remove elements from the given array. In case if you have not watched the videos on array map and for each method, I will put the link of it in the video description. You should also watch that. Let's see filter method example. So now let's say from this array you want only the numbers which are greater than 10. So here I'll say const new array and then we will say array dot filter and this filter going to accept a callback function and this callback function going to accept value index and array let's console log all of these so console log value index and array and in the console log these are the value this one and this is the index of these values and these are this array. Now from this callback function we will return a boolean or you can say we will return an expression that will be evaluated to true or false. So here I'll say return value that is greater than 10. Now let's console log this new array and here we go we get the new array which has number greater than 10. Similarly, if you want less than 10, change this expression and we get the new array which has numbers less than 10. We don't need this index and array, so remove, remove it. And we get the same result. Let's see one more example. And let's say we have a products. And this product has collection of product object. Let's say name is product A and it has quantity any random quantity now let's duplicate this product b and let's say its quantity is zero product c and any random quantity similarly product d and it is also zero now from this product list 
we want only those product which has quantity zero. So let's filter this. So here I'll say const and what should be the variable name? Let's say empty product is equal to products dot filter and next we will pass callback function which is going to accept value or we can say product and then here i'll say return where product dot quantity is equal to zero now let's console of this simply products And here in the console log, we have two products, product B and D, which has quantity zero. This is all in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the video, hit the like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe us. See you in the next lesson. Mm -hmm.